Third and ten for the Rebels from the 46. Floyd Allen's checked in as receiver. Play action, ready to throw again. Astramu out route, diving for it, and coming up with it is Allen. Fly! Ah! Yeah! Yeah, fly! But that was a great catch. I saw it when he broke it off. Teammates of Floyd Allen get excited when he has success. And there's a reason for that. The senior from Houston, Texas, has fought through miles of adversity to make it to this point in his life, starting with his senior year in high school. Unfortunately, I didn't have the year that you know, I projected I would have. Uh, I ended up tearing my ACL, which put me in a predicament where you know, my senior year was over. But you know, things happened, and you know, I ended up getting a scholarship offer from uh, Bethany College. And I was you know, blessed to have that opportunity then. As you know, time went on and you know, my knee healed, you know, I felt you know, I could play at a high level. So I, I set my sights out to you know, do, do, do just that. With the goal of playing at a higher level, Allen returned home to Houston to work and prepare his body for his opportunity. And that's exactly what he did. When the phone call came, he was ready. And he's like, hey, you know, I know you're looking for a place to play. Would you, you know, like to come out to, you know, Santa Monica College in California? He's like, you know, we don't have scholarships, and, you know, we don't have dorms, but, you know, it's an opportunity to play. So me, me being who I am, you know, I doubled down on my workload, saved up all the money I could, and me and my family, you know, we went out to California. Working at McDonald's to help pay for school, Allen was again asked to change his plans, transferring to El Camino College where his desire to play and succeed was truly tested. I didn't have the funds at the time to get myself a place at El Camino, near El Camino College, so I had to just stay in my car for you know, a couple weeks to you know, get myself you know, prepared just to, for the move. The JUCO struggle is real, so you know, everybody knows that when you're from an out of state, you know, things are hard, so you know, they you know, find, ways, you know, find ways to take care of each other. Finally settled in California, Allen looked to showcase his talent to gain attention from bigger schools. But on the first day of fall camp, two fractures in his ankle would derail those plans once more. Months later, in the offseason, Floyd and his teammate would take a road trip to a JUCO camp, and they would do or wear anything to get noticed. We end up uh, driving seven hours down, uh, seven hours up to uh, NorCal, you know, I had me on. I had to make sure I was seen because you know I'm not I'm not the tallest guy in the room, but you know I had to make sure I was seen. So I had me a nice little neon hat on, just you know, make sure everybody could see me. All of a sudden, there was a receiver that showed up that had this neon yellow hat on, and immediately kind of stood out just because of the hat alone. All of a sudden, this kid started running routes, and all of a sudden, you took notice to him. And so every time he kept coming to the front of the line, you kept noticing the neon yellow hat and you kept noticing this kid making plays. I took every rep I could in one-on-ones, and as a camp ended, you know, I'm thanking all the coaches, you know, just for allowing me to be here. Then Coach Pillar comes up to me, he's like, you know, hey, man, we like you a lot. I uh, didn't know all the, the backdrop of, you know, living in the car and, and living with four other guys in one room and things of that nature just to, to make it. But, you know, visited, fell in love with the campus, fell in love with, with the opportunity that we were going to have, and, and luckily for us, we were able to get him as a walk-on, not knowing that he would take the step that he took. And again, I guess you can say the rest is history. Despite all of his setbacks, Floyd had finally made it to the highest level of college football. And when he got to Ole Miss, he took advantage of every second. Hey, let's get it! Here we go, here we go! Be flat, Floyd! Work up, work up, work up. Punch! Good. Get up, get up! Hey, no drop. Eyes burst. Keep that ball up. Good. Good, Floyd. Oh! oh that's six yards! That's a six yard game! Yeah, baby! Good play! Yes, yes, good play! When, when he first came here, you you know, you sit and you talk about each incoming player. And uh, so, we, you know, you discuss his background and his story. and really felt like he was a scholarship player. All I ever heard was, you know, Ole Miss receivers and the best receiving core in the country. So my whole mindset was, you know, hey, man, show, show him why you're here. Show him why, you know, Coach Pillar brought you in. He put in all this extra time, and I'd always get those little little pulls and from, I remember, DeMarcus Lodge and being like, Coach, this guy deserves a scholarship. He's a good player. Those whispers from the NWO did not fall on deaf ears. 
Floyd's body of work had left such an impression that the coaching staff would indeed start including Floyd in the scholarship discussion. But a selfless action in the first week of the season would make that decision an easy one. All right, hey, listen up. The first core value of our program is that we're an unselfish team. Floyd Allen, where you at? Come here, Floyd. Come here, Floyd. I, I look at Hey, I look out. I don't even recognize these guys in these numbers. Hey, him and Willie Hibbler were on the same special teams. What's he do? Hey, coach, I want to get on the bus. I don't care what my number is. Change it. Hey, we got two gifts for these guys, but I'm going to let them fight it out for the best one. Winner gets the bag with the surprise inside. Loser gets the shirt. One shot. It, this is one of those moments like everybody's watching like, hey, it's, it's you versus him. You got to compete. You got to win. I'm thinking like, okay, you know, this is a nice bag. But at the same time, I'm thinking like, man, all the NWO behind me, like, hey, if I don't win this one-on-one, -on -one, they're going to get on me the whole <laughs> after practice. So in my head, I'm just like, hey, man, you, you run your best route. I end up catching the ball and I'm just lit just because I'm like, I, I'm not, I forgot about the whole bag situation. I'm just happy like I won for the offense, I won for like the receivers. All right, Floyd, come here. All right. Hold Open on, up that bag and find what's in there. Let's see, yeah. right. let's see what's in the bag. Right. Let's see what's in the bag. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is it? Gift certificate? What is it? What read that out? I pull out the bag, I see my name, and I'm reading it, and I read it so fast, and I was like, oh, I'm tripping. Now I look at it again, and everybody just rushes me. Yeah! It's about being unselfish. Yeah. It's about being a family. Hey, hey, because hey, hey, special players can win any game. Right. But a great team can win every, every game. game. Every game. Hey, 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 congratulations. I love you. Hey, come on. I really felt like, you know, my team knew that, you know, all the hard work I put in and the fact that, you know, they seen it and they were just as excited as I was. It was probably, not. Nah, I can't even say probably, it was really the best moment of my life. Like, it was just amazing. He, I mean, pushed through, I mean, essentially homelessness to being a scholarship receiver in the SEC. I mean, that, that's, that's the true definition of perseverance. I feel like my story, you know, helps others. I feel like my life's purpose has always been to, you know, inspire people. You know, I want to be, I want some kid to, you know, who's going through something right now to see my story and be like, you know what? I'm saying, you know, he came from here and, you know, he's an SEC receiver on scholarship. Now, you know, if he can do it, then I can. You believe in yourself, you believe in God, you know, and you work, you work your tail off, and there's no, there's no ceiling to how far you can go.